Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are going to be learning all about variables and outputs. So let's get to it here. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is create ourselves a new folder. And just so you know that these uh, file names might change because I have yet to actually publish this as I'm creating this course. So, you know, if this one isn't 040, because I just decided not to do the uh, Terraform registry one because I'm doing it later, that, uh, you know, the numbers might be different, okay? But in the course, I will link up the uh, correct repos if you're trying to find them. But what we'll do is type in main.tf, um, and we just need to provision something. So we'll probably go back all the way to our getting started one and try to grab something from there. So I will go and grab this AWS instance here, and we will also grab its outputs because that's probably a good idea. And we will go and grab its provider here. All right, and we will also go ahead and grab a variable because we're all learning about variables. So we're gonna to have to have some kind of setting here. And we also need our Terraform configuration block. So I think that's in my main. And we will go ahead and grab that. So we'll go to the top here, paste that in. Okay, this looks all good to me. Actually, we're just going to use a local backend for this to make our lives a lot easier. And we don't need tags. I'll just remove that for the time being. And so this should be good enough. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. So what we'll do is go ahead and deploy this instance. But actually, this is all about learning again about uh, variables, right? So we said that there is a lot of different ways to inject them. So we did. We have the terraform.tf vars. Um, and other ones like that. So let's just go down the road or go down each one and see if we can uh, learn how to do all these, okay? So the first one is gonna be terraform.tfvars. And in here, we're just going to specify the instance type. And that's gonna be a T2 micro. Put that in double quotations. And we'll go ahead and type in terraform uh, plan I just see if that gets populated. Oh, we have to do Terraform init first. We honestly don't even need to deploy this infrastructure because we're going to just be able to um, run Terraform plan. If it's populated, then we know that it's working as expected, right? And while that's going on, I'm just gonna go to the documentation here and we're just gonna pull up uh, Terraform variables because I'm pretty sure it's just straight here in the documentation talks about all the different ways. There's like a list when they talk about the um, uh, the variable definition files download or down here. So they kind of mention all the different use cases there. And I mentioned that obviously in the course, um, but we'll just go and now do a Terraform plan. And so what I want to see is it's going to use a T2 micro here. So if we scroll on up, we can see that it said it's T2 micro. So it's loading that from our Terraform TFRs just to prove that it is. I'm just going to write in nano. And we're going to go down below and run Terraform plan. And if we scroll up, we can see now it's a nano. So Let's say we didn't have a Terraform vars file. We had something that is just anything. We call it um, my variables, or how about just vars to make our lives a bit easier. So we'll just say vars.tfvars. And if we do Terraform plan, is it going to auto load that file? No, see how it's prompting us? Because um, if it doesn't have the word auto in it, it doesn't know to load it. So what we'd have to do here is we'd have to do Terraform plan var file and then say vars um, dot tfrs and so now it should load that file okay we're going to scroll up see if it's nano it is good i'm just going to go change this to a medium for fun so let's say we uh we didn't want to have to always do that hyphen var file because we always want this to be loaded because it's just an additional file what we can do is put the word auto in it all right and so now if we do terraform plan it should just pick that up Okay, we're gonna go ahead and scroll up and we can see we have that T2 medium, okay? So let's say we just wanted to input it from the uh, the API here. So I'm just gonna rename this here or from the CLI. So what we can do is type in var uh, instance type 
equals uh, T2 nano. And so if we scroll up here, this should be T2 nano. So yeah, it's pretty much all the variants that we need to explore, but also notice that there is uh, uh, an order of precedence, right? So this is the order that will load in and later sources taking precedence over the earlier ones. So the later it is, the more likely it's gonna override it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create myself a um, new file here, and we're gonna say terraform.tfvars. So I just want to show how that plays out. And we'll have our vars.tfvars file, which is fine. Actually, we'll do the auto, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off small. So this is gonna be instance type equals nano. And then this one here is going to be a uh, micro. And so I wanna see what happens. If I run Terraform plan, is it going to take this one or that one, right? And we're gonna scroll up and we can see that it's a T2 micro. So it's taking the one from the auto file because it, it's second precedence, right? So this one has priority over this one and then if we want to uh, override that there, we could do um, hyphen var and say instance type equals T2 medium. And so that should override those there. And we'll scroll up and see, we can see as a T2 medium. So that's pretty much all we really needed to um, explore in this one here. And so we'll just move on to something like uh, outputs, okay?